the quarterback, looking for McDonald. Mike Gector with the steal. He can fly. 20, 30. Gector is gone. 100 yards, and the Cowboys score again. The teams. A three-point try by the Redskins turns into a six-point score by the Cowboys' Mike Gector. King Hill, the Drake handoff. Timmy Brown behind Blaine's good block. Brown spins, gets away from Tubbs, and is dropped there. Slow motion now as Hill hands off to Timmy Brown. Rowe gets a good block on the linebacker. Brown spins, changes pace, and watch this speed and watch the action of this young halfback. Gets away from Renfro and stays on his feet. It's finally pulled down by Mike Gector. A 20-yard gain as the quarter ends. The Eagles 7, the Cowboys 7. Second quarter action, first and 10 on the Dallas 19. Hill rolling to his left, fakes the draw and decides to run with the ball. King Hill knocked out of bounds and finally wrapped hard there by Gector again on the 12-yard line. On second nine on the 36, Hill going for Timmy Brown. Brown is really hit by Gector on the swing pass. It's a 12-yard advance. Brown was shaken up and Ollie Matson's in the game. On third and seven, King Hill's back to throw. It's the screen pass. On the outside, this is Earl Groh, the fullback, behind Ringo, and he piles down in there for a 10-yard gain. They get third and four now on the Steeler 49. Nelson going to the outside to Lynn, his fullback, who makes a grab. It's five yards and a first down to the Dallas 46. Pick up the action on second and 13 on the Dallas 49. Slow motion shot of Bill Nelson, the quarterback. Getting good protection, looking for Clendon Thomas. And it's intercepted by Mike Gector. Gector with good speed. Intercepts the ball now and heads for the far sidelines. Roy Jefferson in hot pursuit along with Clendon Thomas. Over the 40. And Jefferson has him about the 45 and down to earth about the 48-yard line. Gector intercepts for the Dallas Cowboys. The Cowboys' secondary is the fastest in football. All members possess sprinter speed and lightning reflexes. They use speed in a singular violent blur of action. Safety Mike Gector was the comeback story for Dallas in 66. Jurgensen, again to Mitchell. Good move by Bobby as he gets 14 yards. Ron Smith, number 10. Pops one over to John Hilton. He's stopped by Mel Renfro and Mike Gector after a gain of seven yards. Dick Hoke, number 42. Dropped by Leroy Jordan and Harold Hayes. Ron Smith looks for John Hilton. Mike Gector intercepts and is spilled on the 22 by Hilton. We'll look at that interception again from ground level. Ron Smith throws to Hilton, but Gector moves in front to intercept and is pulled down by Hilton. Redskins ball, they trail in the second quarter. Jurgensen to Bobby Mitchell. Gector driving in, a loss of five. Jurgensen to the air. Mike Gector intercepts. Bobby Mitchell makes the tackle. Down and one now, and New York is going for it. 
A good call. The end around to Homer Jones. Picks up the first down and more. Morrison. To the Cowboy 35 and another giant first down. Another crucial third down play. Gary Wood to Bob Crispino. First down at the Dallas 17. On third and two on the 10. Junior Coffey having a good early afternoon goes for five yards to the five. On second and ten, Claridge, this time to Burke. Completing the passes, but the Cowboys lead the ball. First and ten, the Eagles with the ball on their own 20-yard line. As Timmy Brown gets the call wide for the Eagles and is dropped there by Edwards. No gain. On fourth down and three, King Hill will gamble. He fakes the play into the line and is going to the air now looking for Timmy Brown and Brown can't hang on to the football. Hill fading the throw. Has good protection, fires across the middle and almost intercepted by Gector. Now the Cardinals have the ball, second down and 19 at their own 13-yard line. The pass intended for Jackie Smith is incomplete. Mike Gector, the defender, and the Dallas Cowboys 10. A dejected Mike Gector returns to the Dallas bench. Frank Ryan looks for his favorite receiver, Gary Collins, finds him on the right sideline, 12 yards and a first down. Mike Gector makes the tackle. Ryan now to Leroy Kelly. As he hits the ground, the ball bobbles away on a fumble. And Mike Gector picks it up and returns for Dallas. We look at that again. Frank Ryan. Throws to Kelly. Gathers the ball in, but as he hits the ground, it bobbles away, and Gector picks it up and returns. However, it's all to no avail because there's a penalty marker on the play, and the Cowboys are penalized for defensive holding. Momentary error and turn disaster into opportunity for the offense. Les Josephson opens second period play with a 27-yard dash as the Rams penetrate Cowboy territory for the first time. The Josephson sweep fails thanks to a big play by Mike Gector. Safety Mike Gector, number 27, hits as hard as any man in football and is a spectacular defender. As a unit, the Cowboy defense was the toughest to run against in the NFL. So destructive was their pursuit that only twice during the regular season did an opponent cross their goal line by rushing the football. The Redskins' rushing attack was typically absent, but an Ivy Leaguer, number 24, Pete Larson, managed one good trip before fittingly receiving a belt in the back from two Cowboy tacklers. In 1969, three veterans anchored the deep defense. Safety Mike Gector played most of the season injured, but still was the Cowboys' second leading thief. 